Hello world, and welcome back to Fallout 4. In this video, we are going to be tackling the perception bug. If you saw in my last video, I explained how the perception bug works, and I showed a mod that I created that stops the perception bug from happening. However, you may be in a character that got the perception bug very early on, and you're now at a very high level, and you don't want to revert back to your save at level 10 from 55. So, we're going to be tackling the perception bug. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this list of console commands that you need to be looking at in order to see the perception bug and how it works. So, the first thing we're going to do is I am going to say player dot um hang on let me let me look it up help stingwing i'm going to use the stingwing spell so when we say help stingwing it's going to give us all the anything with stingwing in it and i'm looking for this spell s p e l so there's the spell stingwing poison so i'm going to say player dot add spell and i'm going to type in that spells ID number, and you don't have to put in the leading zeros, just the numbers that come after. So 6D2E2. So, spell Stingwing Poison not added to Robin. Hang on. It's odd. I probably already have the spell added. So it should say that you have it added because this next one won't let you do anything if your spell is not added. So I'm going to say player dot sp spell 6d2e2 left. So now I'm equipping the spell that I have to my left hand. Player left set spell set to stingwing poison. So my spell has been added even though it says it doesn't. It will do it if you were to do it for yourself. So I've now equipped it to my left hand. Now I can't just open, I can't just close the console and use the spell like you would in Skyrim. It doesn't work that way. The, um, the way that Fallout 4 is made, it doesn't allow that to happen. So um, before I do what I'm going to do, I'm going to say player dot get value info on 2C3, and I have my perception bug, as you can see. So now, we can, I have that ready to go. I can just up arrow and it'll go to it. Um, we're going to cast that spell on ourselves to show the perception bug, or the perception effect. So we're gonna say player dot cast 6D2E2, and then we say player, that's our target, left and if you notice it gives us a whole bunch of stuff in return and our screen is starting to go blurry and if I say get value info on 2c3 we are now at minus 9.4 <laughs> and oh we're under this perception effect it looks so weird and then now that four seconds has passed if we get info again we're back down to negative 4.4 so here is what we have to do in order to fix the perception bug. You need to get a, a program called Cheat Engine. If you haven't used Cheat Engine before, um, Cheat Engine can look at memory and can look at the memory values. And basically what we're doing with this spell is we're going to make it search the memory for our negative 4.4. And then we're going to use that spell on ourselves and then see of those things that we found that were negative 4.4, which one changes to negative 9.4. Then after that, we let the spell take effect, and then we open up the console commands again, and we go back and we check to see of those ones that change from negative 4.4 to negative 9.4, which ones changed back to negative 4.4. And we should have the exact memory address of this modifier, then uh, when we find that, we can set it to zero and fix the bug. So. Here we are. I'm going to go open up a cheat engine for you. Cheat engine is right here. And we're just going to click this right here, select a process, and we're going to select Fallout 4 and say open. All right, so now we have Fallout 4. And what we're going to do in here is we want to say our value is minus 4.4, 0. And we're going to go back to Fallout. And we just want to see, make sure the effect is good, OK? It's negative 4.4. OK, so. 
minus 4.4, and then this value type change to float. And you want the exact value, minus 4.40. So, what we do now is we click first scan. And here are all of the addresses that match minus 4.40 in some way, shape, or form, because it has to round. A floating point number is rounded, if you didn't know, from its actual value in memory. So we're going to go back to Fallout 4. And so long as you have added the spell to yourself and equipped the spell to your left hand, using the player cast spell, we're going to cast that spell on ourselves. I opened up that menu on accident. So now, if we say get value info, we're at negative 9.4. If we do, and we go in here, we change the value to minus 9.40, and we click next scan. We now have one value. Now, I know that this is correct. I know that this is the correct address, but to be absolutely certain we have the right value, you go back into Fallout 4, close the developer console, <coughs> let the spell take effect for four seconds, Make sure your vision's clear. Count one, two, three, four. Open up the console. Get our value again, minus 4.4. Switch back to Cheat Engine. Change the value, minus 4.40, and hit Next Scan. And here we are. So this is the memory address that has the perception bug in it. What we need to do is we need to... We're going to change the value of the selected address and we're going to change it to 0, 0.00. So the value is now 0. If we go into Fallout 4, and we check that value again, we notice our modifier is set to 0. So now here's the thing. As soon as you have that set, quickly go and save your game. Make a hard save. And now... If we were to go back to Cheat Engine, we can close Cheat Engine, and we can go back to the game. If we were to quit, back to the menu, and go back to that save, oh, it seems to have uh, crashed. Lovely. Okay, I get it. I know it's Bethesda. I hear music. All right, so now if I go in here, player dot get value info two C three. I do not have the perception bug on me, and if I close and look at my Pip Boy. Go to special, my perception is back to six where it belongs. So doing this will fix the perception bug for you. However, this fix only works on PC. Now, you could do this if you had a development version of the console you're playing on, but I doubt anyone has their hands on that type of thing. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you in fixing your Fallout 4 save. It helped me a lot. It was great to go through the process. And please download my mod if you never want this to happen to you again. Unless you really like doing this. I mean, I hate sniffing through memory. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But, hey, whatever floats your boat. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Always out there trying to help anyone in Fallout with a crappy bug. Let me know. I'll see what I can do. All right, peace out.